Welcome back everyone, Fortune Finders Ale here, and we're at Aldi's again, and there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a box here, Let's see if I can pull this up without losing anything. Oh, I'm gonna lose something. Oh, no, I didn't lose anything. Nice. <laughs> Set this right now. We got three pineapples, got some avocados, and some raspberries, nice. Some kettle chips, jalapeno. They've been opened. Not gonna grab those. Everyone keeps saying um, don't give the chickens like really salty stuff. So I'm taking your guys' advice. No salty stuff for the chickens. Ooh, we got some cantaloupes. Very nice. Cantaloupes. Not gonna take them all. I'll just take two. Ooh, that thing's been destroyed. Oh, look. Huh. Has my birthday on. Look at that, January 16th. Awesome. We got some broccoli. Broccoli. Ooh, we got some mushrooms. Looks like they're okay. Yep. Kind are they? White mushrooms. Nice. I have to get another box here already. This box is destroyed. Can't use that. Oh, that box is not looking good either. This one looks perfectly fine though. Awesome. Let's use that one. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no way. Oh, first of all, what's this on top of it? Ooh, that's been opened and that's meat. No good. Oh, look at this. Oh, no way. Look at all of those. Oh, wow, actually. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yep. Never mind. Check them all. Ooh, those are so gross. Those are so moldy. Those must have been sitting in the back of the store for a long time. Ugh. No, oh, thank you. Man, <laughs> I thought we got lucky with blueberries today. Not this time. Oh, wait. Nope, those ones are super moldy too. Dang. What is going on with moldy blueberries today? I think that one's okay. But, ugh. Oh, I can smell the mold. No, I'm not taking that. Let's go to the other side. Get away from that mold. Oh, we got some other meat here. Meatball and meatloaf mix. Huh? Let's see the date. 12-28-19. Use or freeze. Well, it's still cold out, so I could bring that home and freeze it. Awesome. What else we got here? Okay, this milk is actually really good looking. Awesome! I don't know why they threw it out though. I guess maybe if they they must have gotten a new shipment, new shipment of milk. But this is the 16th, um, my birthday. So I don't know. Is it leaking? No, it's not leaking. I don't know. I'll take it for now, I suppose. We got some light sour cream, which is leaking. So, oh, what's this? Pork tenderloin. Nice. We will take that. I'm just going to leave this all in the box. We got a couple of those. What is this? That's a pork tenderloin, too. Peppercorn. Ooh. And it's still pretty cold out right now, so this should all be, should all be good. Should all be good to go. And there's another one. Italian. Nice. Pull that right out of there. Ooh. I'm gonna take this romaine out of here. Cause that stuff is probably still recalled. Seems like it's always recalled. Get out of here. Uh, cantaloupe. What is this? Dark chocolate, 70% cocoa, fine truffles. Oh no. No, the rain ruined them all, I think. Please be in other packaging other than this. Come on, let me see what you, we got in here so I can tell. 
Oh man, I don't think these made it. They all got, they're super soaked. That sucks. Now look at all of them. There's a ton of them. Dang. Oh man, this is not my night, guys. <laughs> it's not our night, I should say. You guys are along with me for the ride. What is that? Whoa. What are these? Those are still good. Belgian seashells. Chocolate. What? Those are chocolate seashells. I've never heard of such a thing. That is so cool. We're taking those. There's another one here. Oh, these ones are no good. That's been open. Yucky. Oh, we got one though. One's better than none. We got more broccoli. Oh, these boxes are so soaked. It's been raining nonstop for the past like two or three days, so. No way. Oh, what? Oh. So, 7-11-2020. Oh, Why'd they throw it out? Oh, this is the best ever. Why'd they throw that out? No way, this stuff is so good. <laughs> we got a whole can of whipped cream, guys. What? That's been opened. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the rest of the milk here. I, why did, must be because I got a new shipment. I'm gonna take a couple more milks because I only got two. So, uh, I'm gonna set it right there on that step. Hope it doesn't fall off. Oh, no way. Oh, yes. These hadn't, these haven't been touched by the rain yet. Look at this. We got some fine truffles, guys. Awesome. No way. These are all exposed to the rain and ruined it. Look at this. We got a bunch of these. We got three more. What? And they're 8-22-2020. What? Why'd they even chuck them out? So confused. Yes. Oh, this is so good. What are those? What? Look at the, Oh no. I dropped them. They're like little bells. <laughs> what? Hollow chocolates. Yep. I'm taking those too. I think I accidentally just chucked some tomatoes. I did. Oh, let's grab those. No reason to chuck those bad boys. Um, like I said, we got enough broccoli. Oh, yeah, that one got wet, too. Dang. That's pretty much it right here. This box of stuff. Get rid of those. Yuck. I got some nice tomatoes. Never been opened. Never been touched. Some more tomatoes. Those ones are a little mashed in there, but that's okay. And more tomatoes. Those ones, yeah, they're fine. I think they're fine. And we got some lettuce. Ooh, that's uh, rotten. That one's rotten too. Um, yeah, that's oof. no good, no good, no bueno, as Jim would say. <laughs> uh, I think everything in this box is pretty much rotten. We got some apples. Nice. We'll take those. Ooh. Yep. Nope. No good. No good. No good. No good, no good, no good. Got a bunch of bananas. Tons and tons of bananas here. So, there's that. Nice. We'll grab those. Okay, that is everything that I'm gonna grab. All right, let's do some fortune facts about whipped cream because we found some and I'm sure we're never gonna find it again because that is one in a million right there, guys. I have never found whipped cream in a dumpster. That's so cool. All right, so. Here we go. Whipped cream has been around since the 16th century. It was included in recipes that date back to 1549 in Italy and 1604 in France. Wow, it was first called whipped cream in 1673. That is so cool. It used to be called milk snow. What? You can whip it with a branch. What? Up until the 19th century, recipes for whipped cream called for whipping the cream with a willow or rush branch in place of the modern whisk. 
As cool as it sounds, we don't recommend it as a practical whisk. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't be sitting there stirring up whipped cream with a tree branch. No. <laughs> Unless you had to. It would be cool, though, like, just to do that. Like, feel like you're going back in time. Cream only whips at temperatures under 50 degrees. Any warmer, and it becomes butter. Yeah, that makes sense. Now let's, uh, let's do one more. The world record for the tallest dollop of whipped cream on a mug of hot chocolate is seven, seven and one fourth inches. Whoa! Melissa Arkin and Casey McLaughlin set the record in 2011. That is so cool. Huh. I bet I could beat that. Really? Seven inches, that's it? I'm gonna try to beat that. I don't even care, I'm gonna try to beat it. <laughs> All I gotta beat is seven inches, so eight inches on top of the mug. And we got the record, guys. <laughs> Uh, that's so cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to do that probably with this whipped cream. I'm going to attempt it and I might post it on the uh, Instagram and the Facebook. <laughs> I'll get it like I'll measure it out and everything. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Go follow us on Facebook and Instagram to see that happen. Anyway, uh, let's do a quick recap here. Everything's getting soaking wet. This is not good. My bananas are wet. Anyway, we got bananas. We got apples. We got chocolates. That's so cool. We got tomatoes galore. We got some more chocolate truffles here. We got all that meat under there. And then over here, we got the cantaloupes, we got the pineapples, we got the grapes, we got the broccoli, and we got some uh, raspberries and mushrooms. And that is everything, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you want to see more videos like this one, because we go dumpster diving here all the time. So definitely stick around. Remember to keep finding those fortunes, because you know we are. Look at all this stuff. Look at that whipped cream we just got for free in a dumpster. So cool. Now to help someone else out today, doesn't matter who it is or why, let's all just try to make the world a better place overall. And we will see you all on the next dive. <laughs>